Good morning ladies and gentlemen and today we're going to have a look at um, one of these programs that might save you bacon one day. Um, while I was on the internet I uh, happened to see a file that I downloaded to do a public demo um, and lo and behold I had some problems. I was actually downloading a um, a couple of programs just to see which we could do demos on and all of a sudden there it was uh, these icons on the side here uh, there's four of them there's the uh, my PC backup advanced system protector reg clean pro and search and if I go onto the internet now which takes forever incidentally I have a look up here and look I've got a deltasearch.com as my home page um, I didn't actually want a Delta search as my home page. I was quite happy with uh, Google and uh, my home page used to be BT Internet. Well this has all happened without my consent and I find that this Delta search is one of uh, four that I know of which is um, malware. In other words it t gathers the information that you put in on searches and sends it back to some host place um, where it will share your information. Um, well I certainly don't want that. Um, I don't want them checking my bank account for me and seeing how much money I haven't got and I mean they'll probably pay me overdraft off etc but I'm going to carry on as though they're not going to do that and uh, get rid of it. Now one of the main things we can do is uh, we can go, go to the internet even though this uh, obnoxious page comes up. You can see there's something wrong there by the time it the length of time it took that uh, to come up. So I'm going to do a search for malware bytes. It's all one word and I want the free version. So we'll do a search for it and there we have malware bytes free. And as you can see we can buy the pro um, which is well worth it if you um, if you end up having this problem all the time. However this is only the first time I've caught it um, in this stage and we'll download the free version it only just takes a moment or two so there we are welcome to malware byte users download now it, it's not a massive file oh heavens that was a bit loud I had already downloaded it before and it's asking me uh, if I want to replace that download with a new version of it. Well, yes I do. There we go, so we'll close the internet off and go to my downloads folder and in here we'll see, well we should see anyway, uh, MBAM setup. Well, I'll just drag that to the desktop to make it easier to see. And MBAM is malware bytes setup. And as usual, double click on the icon and away we go. We have uh, um, the setup. We'll set up in English because it helps if we understand. Um, we accept the agreement. It's a very simple agreement as well. Um, obviously, they don't want any, if anything happens to the software, you, you can't blame them because they're trying to do you a favor by removing the software. So, there we are. We'll put it in a folder called Malware Bytes. Um, and we'll just go ahead with a straightforward install. It's not a massive program but one of the things I do find it's a very thorough program and we'll finish and it's already got the boxes ticked there for uh, launching the application and it'll connect to the server just to make sure there's no uh, updates of it. If there are updates available then it will download them automatically my whole internet has been slowed by at least 75%. Um, there we are. So here's Malware Bytes. It is installed. Um, it downloaded the latest version, which is only a little update. Um, so here we are. We'll, we'll, I'm going to let it perform a full scan. Now I don't know how long this is going to take, but I only want it to scan uh, C at the moment. So off we go. Um, 
This is going to take straight away. This is in the first five seconds of running. We find it's found ten different objects. Now, when I did a, uh, a security scan this morning, there was nothing wrong in my computer. But every time you access the internet with that program on board, the um, the Delta, every time you access the internet, it will copy itself and replicate itself somewhere in other forms of software around. Um, there we are. We're up to 48. Uh, it's only scanned 2004. Uh, sorry, 24,500 objects and it's up to 48 objects detected. Um, this is very, very um, annoying. But I'll let it carry on the scan. What I could do actually is I'll, I'll pause the scan. Um, and then we'll come back to it when uh, well, we won't pause the scan, I'm sorry. I'm uh, trying to think ahead of myself here. Um, what I'll do is I'll pause the recording for a moment or two and then uh, come back to it in just a moment or two when uh, it's finished its scan. 56 objects detected now. Um, so we'll see how that progresses in the next few. are 12 minutes and 20 seconds into the uh, the scan of my computer um, still going through quite uh, rapidly uh, still only found 72 infections um, but I did notice on my uh, uh, start menu I had advanced system protector this is something which I didn't ask for BitGuard RegClean Pro which is one I know people have got on their computer and they think it's a good thing it uh, tells you there's about 127 faults with your computer. Um, in reality, there's probably no faults at all with your computer other than you've got their program on it. Uh, Wajam, W-A-J-A-M, is another one which I don't know where that came from, but uh, I assume it's part of this um, this malware set. And my PC backup. Now, I do have backup uh, software on the computer, but it's not called my PC backup. Um, so that's something else which is uh, probably this one here which is part and parcel of this uh, this whole malware session that's going on anyway the uh, computer is now running through my M drive if I have several drives here and M is the one where I do uh, web stuff and um, obviously plug it files um, oh, there we go I think Right, this anti malware. Um, th so, this is it. It's actually found 271 infections on the computer. Um, it was successful. Now we can show the results, uh, which is down here, this little box here. Right, so we can. Uh, these are all malware. Unfortunately, the it's got a remove selected button here and uh, it does mean you've actually got to go through and tick 270 boxes to get rid of it all because I haven't found a way yet of selecting all. So painstakingly 270 mouse clicks Yeah, it has to be that has to be a quicker way of doing this, I'm pretty sure. If there is I haven't found it yet. However, we're working through the list. As we can see by the little uh slider at the side we are moving down quite rapidly. And I'm sure somebody's gonna shout out and say, Oh I know a shortcut, I know how to get rid of them quick. Well, at the moment I don't know how to get rid of them quick so I'm doing it the hard way oh, missed that one so if anyone from Malware Bytes is watching we do need a little button to select all but they're all pup 
We've all got the same title. Advanced System Settings. Registry Clean po Pro. I mean, I just fail to see why. <sighs> oh, right, it's different languages. I do apologize. So not only does it put malware on my computer in English, it puts it on in uh, Portuguese, Polish, Korean. Wow. Well, I'd never have known they were there because I can't speak Korean. Anyway. I'm fairly confident. Here's another one. Registry. This is uh, a Delta search bar. Here's a Babylon. Wajam. It's, um, it, you can see all the titles. I'll run up this list before I actually press delete on them. I will go up the list. We'll have a look, see what's uh, there. And if you have any of these on your computer, on your computer, you do have malware. Don't think, oh, it won't happen to me. Um, it will happen to you. If you've got those, it's happened already. Advanced system protection. And this stuff only comes down with downloads. It only comes onto your computer with downloads. It doesn't sort of accidentally pop on. Um, you go to a page and start downloading um, little files or little updates or whatever it is you want to do with on your computer. Um, in this instance, I was downloading a file which, uh, just a simple button, which showed whether the internet was on or off um, on the taskbar. That's all it was. You click. There we go. Let's have a look. BitGuard. BitGuard A. Advanced System Protection. Advanced, yeah, Protector. Wajam. Babylon Solutions. Delta. I noticed there. Delta. Babylon. Data Manager. Delta again. Reg Clean Pro. These are all these icons here. There's a few extra ones as well, like the Delta you can't see at the moment. Babylon Delta, Wadjam, Performer Soft. This is all malware. Anyway, there we go. Remove the selected. You can see it's busy doing that. Right, here's the report we get up. Um, it's on Notepad, and you can see exactly what's been deleted. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that report. Not quite sure where it saved it, so save as. Um, it's in Malwarebytes itself. Um, what I'll do is I'll put it on the desktop. There it is. And there's the log itself. Um, need to restart the computer to remove all the active threats properly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to finish this and call this part one of this um, recording. It's been very exciting, I must admit. Um, so I'll stop this right now and then I'll continue with uh, well, part two afterwards. And here we are back again. Um, Malwarebytes seems to have done its job. It's removed all the uh, the threats and the malware that was on there. Um, removed everything. The one I didn't see removed was actually my PC backup, which uh, I'm a bit concerned about because I can't remember if that was a program that I'd installed or just a program which was part of the malware set. I'll have to look into that. However, if it was a uh, if it's a genuine program that I put on and forgot about. Um, then I apologise to my PC backup makers. Um, it, it's like it came up at the same time. Anyway, we'll progress. Um, we've perf performed the scan 
Um, I did a quick scan just before uh, I restarted this part just to make sure it had got everything. So if we open our um, our web browser, oh it's taking me back to Google which uh, I didn't really want, I'd sooner go back to my home page but I'd sooner be at Google than um, at the other one that it, it put on. So if we go to options we can uh, put http colon forward slash forward slash home dot bt dot there it is there yahoo dot com and OK that and that will change my home page to that of the BT variety wonderbar exactly what I wanted so there we are that's um, the basic uh, running of malware bytes um, just check Internet Explorer. Oh. Right, I suspect um, I suspect um, it's deleted a file or a part of a file which uh, uh, might have been needed. Anyway, I'll look into that. That's not a major problem. Um, I don't use Internet Explorer very much anyway. I hope um, this demonstration has been informative and I really do hope that you never get caught out um, with this type of uh, malware. It's not very nice, it's not very pleasant, it's the first time I've actually had it myself although I have removed it from many other people's computers. Um, so there we go, malware bytes is the thing to look for, type it in your search engine, double check that it's actually coming from the malware bytes dot com website and not some other imitation site um, and uh, double check everything you do anyway it does work it has got rid of all the uh, the nasties that it put onto my computer um, I would recommend that people create um, a restore point very often I think very briefly if you go to my computer right click go to properties and go to system protection if you click on create you can create a restore point very quickly um, I'll just call it plug it demo it just takes a few moments if if it takes 30 seconds I'm probably exaggerating um, and really what it does is backs up back up there it is it's uh, created already it backs up everything on C the way it is uh, and also if your computer is working fine then uh, it's great to uh, to do a backup uh, you know a restore point to it so that if anything does go wrong you can always go back to that restore point and make everything right again that's it thank you very much for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, this uh, nail biting demonstration, well, it was nail biting for me, um, nail biting demonstration. Thank you for listening.